Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back Yeah, you can count on me for that So put your hand in mine I will be there every day When you're sick of the climb I will make sure it's okay I know you didn't ask for any of this But we beat for the sky Cause we're flying colors now to complete games with me James hope you're doing well and Merry Christmas to you if you're watching this video as it comes out live hope you're all set and looking forward to it I'm pretty excited this year to be fair I think this year's gonna be a good Christmas so yay but today we're gonna be tackling the artifact of the immune and the dreaded swamp cave so I've come over to the Redwood outpost and while I'm here I'm just gonna go and grab some sap because they only stack in 20s now, so I should probably put another sap collector up here. Um, I don't need that much, it's just for the veggie cakes and some fishing. I have uh, loaded a tiller up with everything we need. I've got some plenty of scuba gear on her, and uh, I've stocked her up with fish meat. And yeah, we're going to go for a stroll through the redwoods while the sun is out. And yeah, <laughs> look. I say we go for a stroll through the redwoods and the fog comes in and it starts raining. But hey, you know, that's, that's arc for you. It's not going to deter me. A little bit of rain's not going to stop me. Because um, I actually quite like the redwood biome. And one of these days I'm going to do a treehouse build, but like a proper one with bridges or something like that looks like the Ewok village. Because it's such a nice biome. And uh, I think because you don't get to learn how to build the platforms until late on and it takes so much cementing place to make one um, you don't tend to see too many of them they have to be sort of a second base so I don't know but yeah even in the uh, rain and fog it still has its moments and the game is getting a little bit older now but I think it still looks beautiful at some points it, it still it still can look fantastic and uh, I know there's going to be another TLC update in April, I think. So that should bring some textual updates as well. So they have, I think they have done quite well. Okay, so we're not too far now. Just beyond the big mountain here is where the entrance to the... Jesus. My heart. I swear. Oh, my little heart. Where's the tiller running to? I just didn't even realise that I'd been uh, that I'd been got there. I don't know why that always still gets me. I wasn't thinking. Oh. Okay, so I've set up a few sleeping bags. Not that it'll be much good because um, if we die, we well, yeah. We just don't want to die in here. That would be bad news. Best camera up a bit. So, 
Um, rather than make the gas mask, which takes black pearls, and I need all the black pearls I can get, I'm going to use a combination of scuba gear and ghillie. Um, we've really got to watch out for the Amphipolora in this cave, because obviously if they melt one of these objects, we will start taking damage immediately. Um, but yeah, this combination of scuba gear and a bit of ghillie seems to do the trick. Uh, on uh, on your hands and feet and the rest scuba and bring plenty of the tanks in as well so now there's plenty of the bugs in this cave you can put some bug repellent on I bought it with me if you just want to come in here and get the artifact because the artifacts are just beyond oh Jesus there's quite a few of them in there it's like I think I saw like a 440 I don't know if they spawn up to there's a 445 so they must spawn up to uh, 450 in the caves and if you get cornered and a few spiders or one anthropolora gets you um, yeah it can be bad news so just take it slowly coming into this cave and if you put the bug repellent on I'll just heal up a bit because I did take a little bit of damage there so yeah we'll just carry on a little bit down the, the bottom here and uh, like I say you can just sort of sneak on through here and then grappling up and get the artifact but it's not just the artifact that I'm after today in fact um, my plan is to camp this cave and we're going to be doing some um, loot crate farming um, I really need uh, a decent saddle and um, I have found I think three deep sea loot crates but they've been so far and few between for me uh, and I haven't I haven't got that Rex saddle yet but anything I do it doesn't have to be well we just need one otherwise I don't think as powerful as my Rex can get oh there's quite a few of them here this is why it's just best just to take it slowly if we have bug repair on none of these guys would have been bothered so it's possible to do it that way and just in front of us there we could grappling up behind that rock and uh, get the artifact but uh, I'm sure I'm gonna farm plenty of art artifacts today uh, I think we'll have a point in stamina Just slowly we go into this little side chamber on the side. I haven't seen these spiders yet, so I'm starting to get worried that everything's not spawned in because we've had some problems. Oh no, hang on, I see something there. Looks like there's some amphora up ahead. So I'll just back off and take it slowly. off so now once we've emptied the cave of all of the bad guys we can sort of run between the rooms and get the artifacts and they sort of spawn back in slowly bits in bit of, at a time and yeah okay Let's try and get a headshot in first before we get them come for it. This is where we have to be careful. Okay, that's at least one of them down. Could do with a better shotgun. I do have a journeyman shotgun. I'm actually using the ramshackle one, but the damage is not great on this rifle, so that'd be a nice find. Okay, better switch to shotgun. And the shotgun's pretty good, but I'm sure we could be doing Okay. Just got these ones up here. So can't see anything else. 
Let's just get rid of some weight. Now, if I remember rightly, this is just a little side chamber. And uh, usually there's a blue loot crate that spawns in here. But there's also a yellow and a red loot crate that uh, you tend to spawn quite reasonably far well. Just sort of running out between each room and some time by. Oh, and there is some spiders, so everything has spawned in it. Looks like some Christmas spiders there as well. <laughs> I haven't been using any of the um, festival stuff. I didn't use any of the um, Halloween uh, stuff throughout the game because I just wanted to play it as a, as a straight player as if any of the festival stuff wasn't going on, but. I think, um, although I haven't seen any, there was um, the gotchas. They uh, gave black pearls, but if I see any, I'll just I'll just leave them. Got a spider under there. got to be careful in here is there's loads of leeches so just want to make sure before you get off your dino that uh, you get them all and they're hard to see as well because the water's all green and murky I think there is a dossier in here as well Gonna boost a little bit of weight on Attila because I do have to empty her inventory quite a bit. Just get rid of some of this. Um, just thinking, do I want to keep that? Yeah, I'll keep the blood. It's good for fishing. Yeah, see all these leeches. As soon as you jump off, they'll just come straight for you. So. dossier. Can't remember which one it was. Uh, oh yeah, the Tapajara. I haven't uh, got one of those in this playthrough, but they are quite fun to uh, fly around on. I like the way they maneuver. I like the helicopter. And they're quite good for actually taming as well, the Tapajara as well. You can just sort of stick to the wall and shoot from the back. It's uh, quite handy. careful of these leeches. Also I'm just going to take my time before I grab this loot crate. Some drones back here. I can't exactly see anything that I'm trying to hit but uh, we are getting them. I think can't see anything. Alright, let's quickly risk jumping off. Um, was it worth it? We've got a Hyenodon Ascendant Blueprint. So I wasn't really expecting much from the um, blue crate, but uh, there is a yellow and a red loot crate to get before we can get to the artifact. But just let them come to you. I'm sure some of them have got the Christmas colours as well. Saw some red and green coloured ones. Um, well, right, 
right, well, we don't need all of this. Let's just uh, keep one stack and the pearls. So you, you, you could, as you can see, you could quite easily go through using some bug Ah, oh, here's the uh, yellow crate. Um, but uh, the second you hit something or it runs out, uh, they're all on you. Ascendant Stego Saddle Blueprint. Not much good. I mean, a good, a good blueprint, but again, I tend to find that in this particular cave, if you if you are farming it for the loot crates that there's tends to be a lot of saddle blueprints spawning in here um, but I haven't got any mods on this and this is the first time I've done it without um, any mod sense mod um, so hopefully we end up getting something I have turned everything onto max um, as it will go on to, onto the settings. I did I did a video on the on the settings that I am running for the game, but it is completely unmodded. So hopefully we can get a uh, a blueprint for a saddle, um, because otherwise, yeah. But that being said, we still got to tackle the hardest cave, which is the snow cave, and I would I would think that that's also a good place to farm um, loot crates if we don't and. I have had a saddle in the past off a red drop, so it's not that they don't just spawn in caves. Okay, so here's the red one. So the red one, see, by the time you go from one room to the other, they can kind of spawn back, so this is why I think this is a good place to sort of stake out if you can and farm. It just requires the gas mask or the scuba gear to do it really and we will give it some more weight keep some of these pearls you do find a lot of them ones as well <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's hark like I can say one of the good things well one of the things you can do at least um, when you play an arc as single player is that when you turn it off um, nothing the world doesn't move so I will be able to camp this cave for a few days if, um, to farm the loot crates whereas if I was on a server I'd have to worry about all other things and coming back and forth so I couldn't just log out with my dinosaur there oh how did I miss that <laughs> Um, yeah, I totally, I totally forgot the uh, Megalania spawned in here, but um, while they're in here, if there's nothing around us, we do need their toxin as a trophy to uh, fight one of the bosses, so um, I will be farming that as well. I think we need ten of them, so that's two. Okay, let's just make our way in here. And uh, this is where the artifact is, just at the end here. Can we get through with the... We can't. We might be able to squeeze through this last little bit, but we can't. Let's just jump off. 
And I don't think any bugs spawn in here. Ants. Oh no, just broken my gear. Quick, is it on um, Attila? Oh, I should have had my pike out or something then. Where my scuba pants out? I'm, I've got them in my inventory. Ooh. I should have had my uh, pike out there. It's a bit silly. <laughs> you never know. I didn't think, didn't think they usually spawned in here, but uh, there was a few of them. And I brought an otter with us so we can gather plenty of these artifacts. But there we go. It's artifact number nine. We only need one more. And where is it? Was it in this corner? There should be a little, there's a little gap, a little triangle gap. Uh, yeah, just here, and you can see where that post is, just down there. So you could just grappling up here, use some bug repellent, be in and out. If all you're here for is the artifact, then do that. Like I say, we're here to just keep farming these loot crates. And um, I'm probably going to end up with quite a lot of these artifacts, so I'll just build a storage chest outside and just keep farming them and running in between these uh, two rooms, really, grabbing as many loot crates as, as we can and hopefully we can um, uh, we can get a saddle um, yeah may as well just take out some of them leeches down there because it can spawn down there as well so like I say being that if we was going for the underwater loot crates then um, it would be a case of um, there's a lot of ocean to cover, whereas the yellow crate, it can also spawn just there. So this cave, um, I've had success in the past with it, so we'll give it a try. And we've still got the ice cave to go, and I suppose in theory I think that the best loot should spawn in the ice cave, really. And that's one of the, the, the hardest to do. but. I don't know. I think was there a, another dossier up in this? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, the terror bird as well, that was it. So yeah. We've got all the dossiers. And we'll just sort of give it 15 minutes or so and just keep running in between these two rooms. And uh, we'll see what we get. Ascendant one as well. That is what we needed. Oh, I am <laughs> That's excellent. Oh, it's actually been um, it's actually been a couple of days, uh, guys. Um, I'm surprised I was. I've I've been recording, but um, just in case we got something. But yeah, like I say, you come in every sort of 15 minutes, and oh, what's this one? Um, it's got pretty good damage on it. Oh, and we got this uh, Ascendant Pump Hampton Shotgun, and it does um, nearly 700% damage. So it's more than twice the power of the one we've got, which is already OP. Uh, I got a Mastercraft um, Spino Blueprint. Um, we got the Advanced... Um, 
assault rifle fabricator blueprint as well. I don't know if we'll use it. Um, and there was actually there's actually been some other really good blueprints. We got um, a Argentavis saddle blueprint. So this um, this cave has been really really good for some saddle blueprints. And let's say we got that uh, really good shotgun as well. Um, but uh, I've had to go back and get some more scuba tanks and let's see the artifact just here. I've, I've got a box full of artifacts and the otter is full of the artifacts. Um, before we go out of the cave I'll just um, check here. But um, that is brilliant. I was thinking I'll just give it another day because I sort of go out give it 15 minutes and then of course I can pause the game so it's just been I've just been playing it like this for for a few days seeing what blueprints we can get and um, it's, it's definitely definitely a worthwhile cave farming that is for sure if you're on the island map um, like I say you can you just you just don't know I guess it's random it's random. I've never found a wreck saddle in here before, but I have now. And like I say, we've got a few bits here as well. So, um, we kept a load of that blood as well. Okay, so we've got our new super powerful shotgun that is the pretty op that shotgun uh, that is that is great damage on that and uh, we've got the uh, blueprint we we needed so fantastic we've got one cave left to do and um, we've got our, um, our army started so I think we'll just go back to uh, base and um, put the trophy down but yeah that was that was really good and I recommend anybody on the island this is definitely a good place to farm for um, recipes I, I don't know what it is just running in between the two small rooms there maybe just gives it enough time to load in I don't know but I'll see you back at the base guys okay Let's just stick you down there. Oh yeah, the otter can only carry five artifacts and you can put one in your infantry, so just for future reference, it does have a limit. But we only need a few of them. I'll just stick one in there as well. Okay. Well, that's about all the time we've got for um, this episode. We've just got one more artifact to get. And next week we'll be tackling the snow cave. So I want to thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you're watching this episode as it goes out, I'll just take this opportunity to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you're looking forward to it. I know I am looking forward to that turkey. Um, but before we get away, um, I suppose I can show you a little sneaky peek at uh, what's been going on now. Just bearing in mind every, everybody um, that if you've ever done um, mutating, breeding and imprinting, it, it does take a, a long time to do, even with boosted settings. Um, but uh, we are getting somewhere. In fact, uh, we're nine Rexes in now. They've stacked mutations and there's a little sneaky peek at the beginning of our army. Until next time, I'm Jane from Complete Games, and I'll see you.